Are you a brand new wet on wet painter and starting your Bob Ross adventures with your landscapes, but you're confused by liquid white, liquid black, and liquid clear because you're not sure what they do or how they're affected when you put colors on top of it? Hey, 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 not to worry, I got you covered. In this video right here, I'm gonna show you that and more so that way you can dominate all of your paintings as you go forward. Let's go. Hey, my name is Wild to help you with your creative adventures. First time here, need a little bit of hand holding or inspiration, or maybe just awesome tips with good hair? Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. Now, if you've watched Bob Ross a couple times or started a few wet on wet paintings, you're probably familiar with a lot of the base mediums, liquid white, liquid black, and liquid clear. But if you're just starting out, you may not know the differences between one or the other, or how one base medium affects pigment versus another base medium. So that's what this video is about. We're gonna put them head to head to head, so that way you can see how each one is effectively different with a base medium and colors put on top. So let's go over to our canvas. I already went ahead and prepped a piece of canvas paper. On the left side is white gesso and on the right side is black gesso. On the top is where I will be applying liquid clear. In the middle will be liquid white and at the bottom will be liquid black. With a one inch brush, I'm going to block in some color with a violet purple so that way you can see how the effects of all the base colors will take place then i will blend them in with a two inch brush to give you the natural gradients that will occur with all the undertones that happen from the liquid bases starting off with liquid clear against our white background you can see how the paint keeps its natural color straight out of the tube. That's because there's no additives like white or black being introduced to change the color pigment. This is perfect for any time you create your own color on your mixing palette if you wanna keep that same color. Now, when you apply color on top of a black canvas with liquid clear, a lot of colors are transparent, which means only color will show through when you add color on top of it which I will show you at the end of this video. Next up, we have liquid white on our white background, and this one you're probably most familiar with. As we apply our purple color up top and start to blend it down, you can see how the white blends in to the purple pigment, giving it a natural gradient, which is perfect for things like skies. When it comes to the black canvas side with liquid white, it still has the same principles. However, the liquid white against a black background will actually dull the paint a little bit more, which is actually really good if you're going for a more weathered sky. You can actually see how both of them next to each other have a slightly different value of purple to them. Liquid black essentially is the opposite of liquid white, which can still add those gradient effects where it will help darken your pigment. This technically does not dull your paint. That is a different color theory. This actually will help darken your paints to make them a little more contrasty depending on what you're putting them against. On a black canvas with liquid black, it can be very difficult to see your paint, but I will show you how to pull that color forward here in just a moment. All right, just to recap, liquid clear will keep the original style of the color that comes out of the tube. If you use liquid white, it's going to enhance your paint by adding a natural white gradient to that pigment. Liquid black is actually gonna knock down your paint but still give you that gradient contrast look. Now black canvases can be a little different because a lot of colors that you'll put on a black canvas are transparent, which means color is really only gonna show when you add other colors on top of it. So let's go into each one of our squares on each one of our base mediums and add white from the bottom up, which will give that natural haze effect that you see in a lot of landscape gradients, just so this way you can see how all the colors and base mediums will work together when you layer on top of them. Now you have a better idea of when you play around with colors and you add layers, how the base medium will affect all the colors that are on top of it and how they will blend. Playing with all the different base mediums is probably one of the funnest things when it comes to landscape and wet on wet painting. And if you wanna give it a shot yourself, I recommend picking up one awesome thing. 
I recommend picking up the Bob Ross Base Coat Value Pack. It is awesome, comes with your liquid whites, liquid black, liquid clear, and the soap and conditioner. Great gift for yourself or someone you may know starting off on their adventures. If you wanna dive a little bit deeper, hey, go ahead and just buy the jars or tubes of all these base mediums. Trust me, you're gonna use it all because they're fun to use. If you end up buying any of them, hey, I did you a favor, I put links down below if you buy any of these awesome things. They help support my channel, so thank you very much. Now this was more or less just a quick study to give you a better understanding of all the base mediums and how colors are affected when you put them on top. If you need any more of like an in-depth review of any of these base mediums, I've already done some reviews on them. Hey, check them out in the top right corner. But until then, I'm gonna give you some awesome videos over to the right hand side that's gonna give you some awesome tips to dominate painting as you continue to go for it. And as always, all you beautiful and creative people, keep painting and of course, Peace.